Oh, South Florida. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right now, you want, we've never spoken before. Um, I literally reached out to you the other day because I saw your progress pictures for the Indie Pro uh, and I was really impressed. Uh, and I'm aware of your name. I've seen it pop up, but this really caught my attention. So can you, um, obviously you're doing your, 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 the Indie in, in several weeks. Can you give us a little bit of uh, background on yourself, contest history? Uh, yes. First of all, you know, I really appreciate that. Thank you. And, um, you know, it, it really means a lot to me. So I've, I've put a lot into this prep, uh, my coach and I, Jose Raymond. So the fact that you did reach out to me and the fact that you're saying this means the world to me because I mean, this, this is it, man. You know, th this, this is where we make a statement, you know, this, this year, we're uh we're we're not going to get our feet wet. We're 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 coming to make a statement, and 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 we're bringing it. So, um, I I actually started competing when I was 19 years old, and I'm 35 now. So, you know, this has been a long time coming. But um, I was a national competitor for what uh, our first nationals. I was 20. I was 25 when I did my first nationals. So, it took me about eight years to turn pro. Um, and I was, I was kind of, uh, my first nationals I turned, I ended up in fourth place, I believe. Yeah, it was fourth place. In your, so, sorry, in your first nationals? Yes. Wow. That's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah. And okay. I, I, you know, right away I'm thinking, okay, you know, I've got this, I'm going to be a pro soon. And, you know, it, it, it just took a little bit longer than expected. And it, it really just came down to me and my mindset, you know, um, I, I, I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't turn pro right away and it took me some time because I I honestly I just didn't have the mindset of a pro. You know, I wasn't entirely dedicated to the diet. You know, I always trained hard, but you know, I skipped cardio sessions, I skipped meals and yeah, that that's you, you can't do that when you're in preparation for a pro show like I am now. So yeah. like I said, I'm actually kind of glad that it took me a while because my mindset is so completely different now being me being older and, and being more mature. And I mean, basically what it all came down to these last couple of years, I get, I got tired of losing, you know, I got tired of getting beat by guys that I knew I could beat guys that I knew I was better than. The only thing separating myself from them was they were outworking me. And, uh, you know, I, I, I made a deliberate, conscious decision to not let that happen again. So I, I earned my pro card at the Olympia in 2020, at the end of 2020 in December. Uh, I awesome. took about a year and a half off because I, you know, a lot of guys jump right into the pro ranks. And it, it usually doesn't do well, unless you're a guy like Phil Heath or someone who can jump right in and make a huge splash. Um, it, it just doesn't usually end well. But I wanted to make sure that when I made my pro debut, I was ready. You know, when I turned pro, I, I had some issues that I needed to bring up. Um, I had some imbalances and uh, I just wanted to make sure that I was 100% completely prepared to do serious damage at the pro level before we decided to do a pro show. And that's why I reached out to Jose Raymond. I had never worked with a coach before, and I made the decision to reach out to him because I said, if we're going to do this, we're going to do it right. So that's where I'm at now, five weeks from uh, the Indy Pro and six weeks from 